authorized to be in this secure area? Oh no. I'm Kevin Howard, the training coordinator here at TVC TV. I hope you enjoyed the short segment you just watched. It only required two days of shooting on set to capture the raw footage. However, the real time investment came with the hundreds of layers of visual effects that were applied right here in our editing bay. Although the final segment is only a couple minutes long, it took many days of intensive post-production work to achieve the final result. I'm going to walk you through the steps that I went through to incorporate all these visual effects into the final production so that you can get a behind the scenes look at how this layering process works. Three different programs were used to create the final segment. Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, and Apple Final Cut Pro. By far, the majority of work was done in After Effects, a professional program used for visual and special effects. I started by capturing the raw footage we shot and editing it down into a short sequence using Final Cut Pro. Here is the original footage without any color correction, visual effects, or sound effects. As you can see, it is quite different from the final production. You're not authorized to be in this secure area! Next, I added color correction to the footage to give it that futuristic blue hue. It was important to make sure that the color in each shot closely matched every other shot for continuity purposes. After I had the final color corrected video, then the true work began. The process of layering visual effects started by adding lens refraction elements to the video. Then I created the electrifying bolt of lightning pulsating out from our principal actor's index finger, whom was played by Kayla Anschel. One of the main elements of this sequence was blowing up the TVC TV security guard, played by Dave Slay, who realizes what he has gotten himself into a little too late. I wanted to relay the impression that he spontaneously combusts from being over-electrocuted. 
so it was crucial to get the timing of the blood elements on the floor, wall, and camera lens correct. Next was layering in the charges and explosions. Then I layered in shattered glass, debris, sparks, and smoke to add to the realism of the scene. The 3D TVC TV logo was beautifully crafted by TVC TV employee Ben Lewis in a program called Google SketchUp. However, it was a little too beautiful for this segment considering the logo is violently thrown out of a massive explosion. So I brought it into Adobe Photoshop and added burn marks in order to give it a little more authenticity. Not having a green screen, or green room in this case, to work with, created some post-production obstacles. Notice the blood and other effect layers spilling over onto the main character. In order to push all the layered effects behind Kayla as she is walking towards the camera, I created several mats and employed a technique called rotoscoping to separate her from the visual effect layers. As a final touch, and to add some more realism to the scene, atmospheric smoke was layered in to create the impression that all the fires and explosions were filling the studio up with smoke. Once all the visual effect elements were completed in After Effects, it was time to bring the footage back into Final Cut Pro to adjust the audio levels and add the sound effects to produce the final sequence you just saw. I hope this gives you a little more understanding of the process of layering visual effects in a sequence. I thoroughly enjoyed producing this short segment and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm Kevin Howard, and I hope to see you around our editing bay soon.